everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. And not only that, but I also owe y'all thank you for your patience these past couple of weeks while I get this video uploaded. I will admit I was on vacation this past week to go visit some family and then medical school interviews are right around the corner and unfortunately I spent a lot of time practicing for them. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately. And so with that, it's, it's taken up a lot of my time and I haven't been able to dive as much in the coffee content as I've been wanting to, okay? Even my TikToks have kind of dropped throughout the past couple of weeks. But without further ado, I definitely owe y'all a part two for this coffee tasting and I'm gonna be honest with you, I could use some coffee right now, okay? You and me, we're in it now. So let's get into taste testing the Cafe Verona pod, the Pike's Place pod, and the Sumatra Blend pod because I did find it. Okay, now I will admit that I'm a little bit scared to try these pods today only because you guys already know I'm more of a blonde coffee gal, more lighter roasted coffee gal. So we'll see how these taste today. But the first one I'm gonna be trying is the Pike's Place pod. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't have that high of an intensity, it's intensity seven, just like you would expect from the actual Starbucks. It is a regular medium roast. And this is what the pod looks like. Again, a lot of the pods are fairly plain, so nothing, nothing too fancy. But I say we brew it and give it a try. Okay, so off the bat, the smell is very burnt smelling. Additionally, it's kind of smells acidic. And apparently we're supposed to be getting notes of chocolate and toasted nut. Um, it's not apparently super fruity or anything like that. Um, it does have some Latin American coffees, like a little bit of a blend. So maybe that has something to do with it. Again, Latin American coffees tend to be on the fruitier, more acidic side. So maybe that's what I'm smelling. Okay, so this is actually a pretty pleasant cup. I don't think it's been my favorite so far out of all the other ones I've tried. However, I do appreciate a little bit of its complexity in that it's kind of acidic right when it hits your tongue, but it's also kind of bitter as it goes down the back of your palate. It kind of definitely reminds me of the like dark chocolate that you would get from the store that 70 to 80% cacao or that raw chocolate where it's kind of sweet, but it's also mainly bitter. That's a lot of the note that I get from it. I don't get a huge amount of nutty notes, but I can see why this would be a Latin American blend of coffee. So I think overall for this rating, the Pike Place is gonna get a six out of 10. Again, wouldn't buy it over again, but I do think it's a, it's a good enough cup. And I think it kind of compares to the Starbucks Pike Place. I think the Pike Place that they brew fresh on tap is definitely gonna be a little bit better in my opinion than getting it out of your Votuo machine just due to all the manufacturing and the packaging that has come with uh, trying to process all the coffee to fit in this pod. So take that as you will, but I do think it's a decent cup of coffee for those who just want a kind of complex medium roasted pod. Okay, so the next pod we're gonna be trying is the Cafe Verona pod. And y'all, this, <laughs> this is a level intensity 10, okay? There was no baby steps between that seven that we just tried and now this 10. And this is a lot, this is a lot, and I'm kind of scared, okay? Kind of scared. But I think this could also be really good because we're supposed to have notes of dark cocoa and caramelized sugar notes. So I'm excited for it. I think it could definitely be promising. I mean, I like dark cocoa and I like caramelized sugar. So hopefully these notes come through and it's not too much of a, a dark, intense cup that I won't like. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay, it is brewed in my wonderful pineapple mug and uh, let's give it a sniff. Okay, that is very earthy. I get a little bit of dark chocolate in it, but almost like that beanie cacao. It's, it's very weird. Okay, that's, I, I, I don't even know what to call it. I just think it smells like robust and smells earthy. So let's give it a taste. Okay, that is actually more pleasant than I thought it would be. Hear me out, okay? I tasted it even before I mixed in the crema off camera and it surprisingly wasn't as bitter as I thought it was going to be, especially because it says it has dark cocoa in it. So I'm surprised. I don't really know how to describe it, honestly. It just tastes fairly earthy, but it doesn't taste like any sort of acidic, um, or, or bitter. 
it kind of has a nice body to it i guess maybe even a little bit nutty but i definitely wouldn't describe it as like really sugary or really cocoa-y i mean maybe a little bit of the dark chocolate in the smell and the initial taste but i really wouldn't I don't really know how to rate this because I'm kind of indifferent towards it. I definitely wouldn't buy it again just because I wish it had more of an intense flavor, honestly. Like, I wish it would give me a little bit more. I do think it's very balanced, though, which is nice and could make for a general cup in the morning. And I think that it has enough body that it wouldn't get too watered down in an iced coffee form. So take that as you will. For that reason, I'm just going to I'm just going to put it at a 5 out of 10 for the rating. I don't think this is either here nor there. I don't think it's like oh my god, I hate this, but I don't see a purpose in buying it again, which is why I'm doing a 5 out of 10, just because I don't think there's really anything special about this pod. I don't mean to offend anybody that really likes the Cafe Verona pod or the Cafe Verona from Starbucks, but I really was kind of let down because I was really hyping myself up for all the intensity that this pod was going to bring, and it just did not bring it, okay? So 5 out of 10, and we're staying that way. So the last part we're going to be tasting today in our 8-ounce series here is the Single Origin Sumatra Coffee. And I'm going to be honest, this is one I was most scared about. And the reason for that is not only is it intensity 10, okay, mama, but it also says it's supposed to be spicy. I don't know what that means. Like, that's kind of intimidating. And it comes from Indonesia, which I love and adore, but... Indonesian coffee is also, I think, very earthy, and apparently the notes are supposed to be herbal and earthy. So we'll see how it goes. This is a pod, again, very similar looking to the Cafe Verona pod, but I will say it's a little bit more of a reddish hue, and um, it's just saying that it's dark roast, earthy, and herbal. So let's give it a smell and a taste. Let's hope I don't want to cry when I taste it. It doesn't smell super spicy it kind of smells a little bit sweet and kind of almost like nothing like the cafe verona did so interesting this one's definitely more robust and more earthy but again not getting like a whole lot of that spice in there additionally I don't know. I don't think it really even tastes that herbally. It's just really earthy, almost like dirt. And I, again, I just really don't like dark roasted coffee. That's probably it. Again, I would also rate this a 5 out of 10 just for personal preferences. I do think this would stand up really well in an iced coffee if you are interested in more earthy, robust tasting coffees. I do think that the other pods we've tried today are just a smidge more flexible and that you could pair them with some of your basics like caramel or vanilla or hazelnut as well as some of the floral ones like lavender and, and rose and such but i don't know i think a honey would go really well in this too now that i think about it so there could be some flexibility in this as well i just think i would stick to like again probably more earthy flavors like honey and, and cinnamon i think that would go make a really good cup of coffee for this so if you like cream honey and cinnamon this is the cup for you okay i don't know about y'all but i know it's the end of this video because the hairs on my body are vibrating and I really appreciate the opportunity to get over caffeinated with you. Okay. This has been so much fun to do this two part series on all of the Starbucks eight ounce pods throughout the past few weeks. Thank you again for your patience. And I'm excited for our original line lovers in the chat because at least in the next couple of weeks, I will be doing a taste test on the vanilla and the caramel original line pods that Starbucks have released for Nespresso original compatible machines, the third party pods. So I'm excited to get into that. Make sure to stay tuned for it. And if you haven't already done so, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you're feeling especially enthusiastic, comment down below because I always love hearing the support you guys have for the channel, as well as just your opinions on the pods that I try in the video. It's always fun hearing your guys' different views on it. And I absolutely love and adore when you guys give me recipe inspos. I'm definitely gonna be trying these pods on my TikTok and trying different recipe combos with them. So any help with that would be absolutely wonderful and I'll definitely give you credit on my TikTok, okay? Thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye.